Hello, my name is Mark Peter and I'm in the Material Science and Engineering Department at the University of Michigan. This summer I've been working for Professor Anish Tutesha in the Polymers, Surfaces and Interfaces group. Today I'll be talking to you about designing superhydrophobic and super oleophobic materials. The first step in understanding wettability is Young's equation, which is a function of three interfacial energies. The first, gamma SV, is the energy between the solid and vapor phase. The second, gamma LV, is the energy between the liquid and vapor phase. And the third, gamma SL, is the energy between the solid and liquid phase. Um, this can be written into equation, which is Young's equation, where gamma SV equals gamma LV cosine theta plus gamma SL. Or rearranged is cosine theta equals gamma SV minus gamma SL over gamma LV where theta is Young's contact angle, which is the contact angle of a certain fluid on a certain substrate that is flat. Here are four examples of contact angles. The first, perfect wetting, such as water on clean glass, where Young's contact angle is approximately zero degrees. The next, partially wetting, like water on most plastics, where theta is in between zero and 90 degrees. Third, which is hydrophobic, where Young's contact angle is greater than 90, such as water on Teflon. And lastly, superhydrophobic, where theta is greater than 150 degrees and low contact angle hysteresis, which is the difference between the advancing and receding contact angles. Our goal in most of our projects is to similarly increase these contact angles with oils and alkanes, which are lower surface tension liquids, and what we would get in the end is super oleophobic surfaces. First, we have to understand two relations. One, the Wenzel relation, which is a fully wetted interface. As you can see, there is no, liquid, or there is no air trapped beneath these spheres. The, uh, the equation cosine theta star equals r cosine theta is where r is the actual area divided by the projected area defines this. And theta star is the new apparent contact angle. This typically leads to high apparent contact angles and high contact angle hysteresis if Young's is greater than 90 and leads to low apparent contact angles with high hysteresis if Young's is great, less than 90. The other relation, which is the cassie baxter relation, which is solid liquid vapor interface, as you can see there's air trapped beneath these spheres. The equation cosine theta star equals R phi phi s cosine theta plus phi s minus 1, where our phi s is the area fraction of the liquid air interface occluded by the texture. R phi is the roughness of the wetted area that is the actual wetted area compared to the occluded area. And this state leads to high apparent contact angles and low contact angle hysteresis if Young's is greater than 90 degrees. It can also lead to high apparent contact angles even if Young's is less than 90 degrees. This state is preferred for developing non-wetting surfaces. Not only can we make these surfaces, but they can be found in nature too. An example is the lotus leaf. Previous research suggests that superhydrophobicity of the lotus leaf is related to the low surface energy of the wax crystalloids covering the protruding nubs and its surface roughness. As you can see, water with a surface tension of 72.1 has yields an extremely high contact angle on the surface. However, if you have a lower surface tension liquid, such as hexatocane with 27.5, it will wet the surface. One way we can uh, one technique we can use is electrospinning to make this roughness on substrates. You hook up a high voltage power supply to the needle of a syringe that contains a polymer in, in the solution, and the other end connects to a collector. So when you turn on the high voltage power supply, a Taylor cone is formed and a small single jet is formed. So as it's falling, the solvent's allowed to evaporate, and in the end, depending on parameters such as power, su or power supply voltage and flow rate, you can get different morphologies. This specific morphology is considered beads on a string and is a solution of PMMA and FPOS 9 to 1 weight percent. And as you can see here, the green line corresponds to the maximum contact angle from spin coated surfaces, which is the Young's of a flat surface. But if we use this electro spinning, as you can see, with all concentrations of POS greater than 10%, we have super hydrophobic surfaces. Lastly, I would like to thank my professor, Anish Tutesia, and the SURE program for this wonderful opportunity of research over the summer.